no doubt. He's done the impossible. He's done what a lot of people did not expect, including myself. Shout out to him for getting the best out of his players. We don't have the all-pro players like the Philadelphia Eagles. Their whole team is filled with all yeah. pros. But damn it, if you look at what Dan Campbell has done in this coaching staff, they're getting the best out of Alex Anzalone. They're getting the best out of Jerry Jacobs, an undrafted rookie. This is what good coaching does. They yeah. get the best out of your players, and clearly they have bought in 100%. So if the Lions go 10-7, and 7, I think he should be coach the year. That's a great point. Here's where I struggle with that. As a voter, let's say I'm voting on Coach of the Year, and you put Dan Campbell, who is 9-1 over the last 10. They got hot. They made the playoffs. They didn't win their division. They just made the playoffs, right? Hell of a storyline. I think one of the best stories in the league, if not the best story in the league right now. The problem I have, Mike, is, well, Nick Sirianni is probably going to finish 15-2 and two this year, and I'm not going to give him Coach of the Year for having the best record in the entire NFL and being the coach of the year, potentially, in his second season. Remember, he was hired the same time Dan Campbell was. They snuck into the playoffs last year, and yeah, you thought they'd be good. Most people did. Jeff had him in his top seven, I believe, yeah. preseason rankings. Yep. Nobody expected them to be the best team in the NFL. Nobody expected them to be having a quarterback who would be in the MVP conversation. Nick Sirianni is responsible for that. So, again, that's not to take away from Dan because at 10-7, and 7, you're really pulling my strings here and having me make a tough decision. But if they go 2-1 and one down the stretch and he's 15-2, and two, why would I not give it to Nick Sirianni? What has he done wrong? Right. And I think Mike brings up a great point too. And, Mike, you can kind of speak on this, is what he's getting out of those players. I mean, talk about the roster that Dan's been given. Offensively, of course, it's top five offense. But in totality, if you look at the roster – Position by position, if you're ten and seven, with Anzalone as your starting linebacker uh, and your secondary being as bad as it is, I agree with Mike. I, I, if I'm a voter, I'm giving it to Dan Campbell based on the roster he has. Let alone, I mean, Nick Sirianni. Listen, impressive year, but my God, they don't have a single weakness on the Eagles. That's just the reality. They're stacked.